Of the largest empires the world has ever known, there is one that is comparatively seldom spoken about in Western media. This empire was of such size and importance that it grew to become the seventh largest empire in the history of mankind. I'm speaking of the Umayyad Caliphate, the golden age of Arabian culture. The Umayyad were a tribe of Arabia which expanded across parts of northwestern India, the Middle East, North Africa, and up into Europe, taking the vast majority of the Iberian Peninsula, modern-day Spain and Portugal, and reaching its furthest extent in AD 750. In the early years of the Caliphate, the Umayyad were led by an experienced political leader, Muayya ibn Abi Sufyan. However, the Caliphate would continue to flourish for over 350 years and successfully established an advanced society which greatly enriched the world's scientific, linguistic, and mathematical understanding. Words such as algebra, algorithm, alkaline, and alcohol were contributed to society by Islamic scholars. The Umayyad set the stage for an Arab golden age that spread across three continents and ultimately turned Spain into the most advanced civilization in Europe. A caliphate is an Islamic state under the leadership of a caliph, a political religious leader. It was during the rule of the Umayyads that the Arab peoples established their first dynastic empire and introduced a national language, currency, and flag. For the most part, there was a great deal of tolerance towards other customs and religions. Both Jews and Christians lived among the ruling Muslim population, most notably in Spain, where, under Umayyad rule, the Jews attained wealth, developed their culture, and even acquired influential positions at the center of power. However, much of Islam felt the Umayyads had been corrupted by their desire for power and luxury, with the ruling class being overcome by various sins, specifically that of greed. In the year 750, the Abbasid uprising occurred and brutally massacred nearly all of the Umayyad leaders. Abd al-Rahman I escaped and established the continuation of Umayyad rule in Spain five years later, with the rest of the empire falling under the control of the Abbasid Caliphate. From the year 756 until the turn of the first millennium, successive Umayyad rulers in Al-Andalus, or Muslim Iberia, established centers of learning, achieved incredible feats of architectural design, produced surgeons, astronomers, and mathematicians whom the rest of Europe would journey to in order to benefit from their discoveries. Muslim leadership in the peninsula continued for centuries, ultimately coming to a sputtering end with the conquests of Christian armies who reclaimed the region and ended in the late 1400s with the ushering in of the Spanish Inquisition. Both Muslims and Jews were forced to recant their faith or flee the region. As is most probably the case in any civilization's gradual decline, hedonism and moral decay characterized the latter period. Homosexual pleasures were much indulged in by the intellectual and political elite. Rulers openly kept male harems and male prostitutes charged higher fees and had a higher class of clientele than did their female counterparts. The golden age of the Umayyads came to an end. However, the Abbasid Caliphate and Ottoman Empire were effectively built upon their rule and expansion and continued for many more centuries. Since the end of World War I, the Arab nations have been struggling to self-govern in a vastly different global landscape. Yet there is one prophecy that points towards an attempt to return, however temporarily, to the more cohesive power of the caliphates. For more information, please request our free booklet, The Middle East in Prophecy.